Hector, what's going on, kings and queens? So listen, I want to tell you that God is so in love with you. Jesus is so in love with you. When you were yet in your sin, doing evil, being wicked against God, God gave up his own baby. And he laid all the sin and wickedness and evil that you committed against him on his own son and killed him for it. And the reason why this even happened this way is that God had established a law. The soul that sin shall die. The wages of sin is death, is eternal death. So instead of you getting the punishment that you deserve for your sin, God decides to give up his own baby, his own son, and take all of your sin and put it on him and crush him for it. Does that sound like God hates you? Does it sound like God is disgusted of you? Does it sound like God is so, he's so opposed to you? This shows you how much God truly loves you. Would you ever give up your own child for a perfect stranger, somebody you don't even know? And yet somebody who hates you, who's done evil against you, who wickedness against you. You take all that evil from them and all the stuff that they did against you. And you just take it out on your own child. And then you let them go free and you receive them as if they never done it. Could you ever see yourself doing that? I'm telling you that God is extremely in love with you and every lie that's been spoken to you, the, the insecure lies, the lies of the devil that's been speaking because all you're hearing are demons that are speaking to you and telling you that God doesn't love you and that God is against you and that God is not for you and that you just, you're better off if you just off yourself. You're better off if you commit suicide. You're better off if you just, you just lay your life down and, and, and crawl in a hole and die. No, the devil is a liar. You're so valuable to God that you're worth the life of his son. That's extreme value. And the cross is everything. When you examine the cross, you examine the un, un, unadulterated, powerful, unmovable, overtaking, dominating love of God towards you. He is so in love with you. And I'm telling you that you are a blessing. You are powerful. You are made after the very likeness of the almighty. You are loved and fearfully and wonderfully made. And I just bind up every spirit, every word of the devil, every demonic spirit that's been talking to you and speaking to you and telling you that you're worth nothing, that you are nothing. I just bind those spirits up and I destroy the satanic power. I destroy Satan's grip on your mind. And I just speak the blood of Jesus over you and the love of God over you and the peace of God over you. And I command the light of God to come alive in you. I command depression to lift off of you. I command burdens and grief to left off of you. I command the freedom of the Holy Spirit to overtake you and saturate you. I break every chain and bond that Satan has attached to you and has bound you up with. Be broken and destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Let there be light. I command the light of God to come on in you. I command the light of God to overtake you. I command the light of God to over overthrow you. I command the light of God to consume you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for your children. I thank you for those who are watching. I thank you for those who are viewing, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just seal them in your blood. I seal them in your fire in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for lifting them. I thank you for speaking to their spirit and showing that they are yours, that you've called them to be powerful. You called them to be anointed. You called them to be the blessed. You called them to be favored and purposed and, and intentional. And I thank you, God, for revealing yourself to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bless them. I bless them in Jesus mighty name. You are loved, kings and queens, and you are a blessing, and you are blessed, and you are loved, and you are favored. Jesus love you so much, and I love you too. God bless you.